today's sunshine and warm temperatures came to a quick end, especially if you happen to be on the beach. Yeah, that pneumonia front that Tom has been talking about really did happen, bringing a fun day like here at Gilson Beach in Wilmette to a crashing halt. The temperature quickly plummeting and beachgoers quickly running for cover. Cold. It got really, really it got cold, really and, windy. cold <laughs> and so we just picked up our stuff and left. Yeah, and a sandstorm hit us. A yeah. sandstorm hit us right while we were talking about the thing, and that was our cue. It was a beautiful day, and then, and all, then all of a sudden, it's just, the wind just started coming in, and it's not stopping. It's been going on for like a minute or so. <laughs> He's really upset by that, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I think uh -oh. we have a young meteorologist in the uh, the making there. Yeah, these things uh, kind of are a meteorological slap in the face. They come in with wind and waves and all. A good thing people weren't swimming in great numbers because you get some rip currents and wave buildup mm. with, with this too. Uh, the good news is we see some warmer weather in our future. Uh, it won't be right away. Tomorrow will be chilly, more like April than uh, May. Uh, seven degrees below normal, and you can see the departures over the next 11 days, how readings get close to normal as we get later in the week and over the weekend, but we start the uh, upward trend after that, and it gets quite warm uh, later next week. In fact, uh, last week was seven above normal. This week will average about one below, but look at next week's average temperature, six degrees above normal, and it looks like that warm weather will spill into the following week. In fact, it's going to get warm coast to coast relative to normals in the six to 10 day period overall. That's Monday through Friday next week. And if we look ahead, uh, look how we're right in the 60% or greater probability of above normal temps, coolest air down to the south of us, uh, and along with the moisture uh, as well, it is very dry. Uh, we had that one corridor of heavy rain last weekend, but uh, we're, we're very dry. That's why these fires are burning up in Canada. They're in drought. Look at the warm air up here. It's been setting records out west. This whole area is in drought, and that's where the fires are burning, but we're tapping a little bit of this cool air for the moment, and the wind off the lake doesn't help. Here's a closer look at the high temps today. 80s through the Dakotas, up into Canada, uh, and Montana, so um, just a little intrusion of cool air, and we're in it at the moment. All the storms are occurring south of us. You see the cold thunderstorm tops. That's uh, cutting off the flow of moisture that might otherwise come up here. Thunderstorms over the east, down in Texas tonight, uh, scattered through the Rocky Mountains, all the way up into the Pacific Northwest. But in our area, uh, the front came through dry. That had been expected. Uh, it did produce a big wind shift and a temp drop. We're down to 53 right now in Chicago. And you can see the uh, strongest winds and how these winds are coming right down the lake. You put a wind over 280 miles of chilly lake waters, and it's going to get cool and deliver the chill to you. And that's what's happening to us here in Chicago tonight, where north-northeast winds are blowing at 17, and we have a 64% relative humidity. What a beautiful day, the eighth day this year with an 80-degree temperature, uh, and gusty winds brought it all to an end and sent that sand blowing on the beaches around the area. Tonight, we're in the upper 40s from Gale Community College to Wilmette, Gary, and Kenosha, as you can see right there. Here's a look at the... Uh, uh, temperatures right now at 10 o'clock, which are basically in the 50s, but the coolest readings are near the water, where the water temperatures are in the low at 50s right now, but 40s as you go out to the farther into the lake, and there are the wind speeds. So tonight, uh, the pneumonia front is through. Uh, the winds hit hard when those things go through. The temps drop fast in a couple hours' time, and then things start to slow down. So tomorrow will be sunny but cool. There'll be a wind off the lake. We do have that wildfire haze. Uh, the smoke's coming in aloft with upper level winds, and it's going to be doing that off and on over the next four or five days. So we get that hazy look to the sky, not that beautiful azure blue that we saw today before the smoke came in, and very limited cloud coverage, as you can see. In terms of rain chances, they're nil uh, tomorrow and during the day Thursday, but about a 50% chance of some showers on Friday. So look for attempts to come back a bit, there may be another one of these uh, pneumonia-type fronts, or at least a pickup in the winds uh, Sunday afternoon or evening. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But we're going into 80-degree weather as we get deeper into next week, and apparently keep that going the following weekend. Uh, and that's getting into Memorial Day territory. So 
that would be nicely timed. Breezy and sharply cooler tonight. Scattered clouds low down to 47 amid those north northeast winds at 12 to 22. Tomorrow sunny and cool with uh, smoke aloft and a high of 63 tomorrow. Uh, 50s along the lakefront, so a chilly day tomorrow. Tomorrow night cool as well with uh, mainly clear skies and a low of 43. Could be an isolated upper 30 in some of the cooler inland spots, but it turns warmer on Thursday. Mostly sunny, milder, high of 76. We'll still be cooling the lakeshore, but mid-60s there. And up to 70 with a few showers and thunderstorms Friday. Saturday 73, Sunday 74, cooler both days near the lake. But temps will stair step into the 80s on Thuesday and could continue there for a while. More of your pictures of what that smoke did to the sun today. This is Chrissy Catherine who said the sun turned uh, this burnt orange uh, color. Amy Heinrichs uh, produced a, uh, was photographed and, and attracted to photographing by the dramatic change in the state of the sky. And Lauren uh, Alvazian. Uh, shows us the sun reduced to a strange, smoky, orange-hued dot in the sky. Well, Alejandro Gollins' uh, brother, James, snapped this shot of the orange-hued sun over Elmwood Park through a pair of binoculars. That's pretty creative. And Bobby Kurtz shows us what it looked like over Logan Square. Mm. You just see that little orange dot up there. Yeah. That was the sun. Uh, Judy Sandall called this the f f um, pneumonia front sunset. That was out uh, over Gages Lake in Lake County up by Wildwood. And Laurie Marie said the strange appearance of the sun all of a sudden had her wondering if there was an alien invasion underway. <laughs> While Mary Ann Smolinski says the orange sun came and went, but uh, it was clear there was haze in the air over Crystal Lake right there. Wow. So an interesting weather day, pneumonia front and Canadian smoke. Man, all right, Tom. Mixture. Yeah, all right. absolutely. Thank you, sir. See you later, guys.